live like an athlete. Today we're going to talk about the fact that there are no absolutes. My first book uh, called Self-Defense, A Body-Mind Approach, there's no absolutes to fighting in the street. One lady uh, discussed in here actually got down on her hands and knees and barked like a dog and that thwarted the attacker. Uh, my next book, A Guide to Inner Strength, uh, discusses that there's no absolutes when it comes to motivation. Some people are motivated by fear, others success. So this discusses how to get there, how to get motivated for any type of performance that you're looking for. Uh, my cross-training book discusses eating correctly, strength training, flexibility, but everybody has a different approach and there's all different ways to do it. For example, flexibility, there's three different types of stretching techniques that a person can use just to get more flexible. Uh, you'd think that Taekwondo, you'd think that uh, everybody would do it the same, absolutely not. That's why there's different styles of Taekwondo. Every teacher teaches differently. Uh, the martial arts athlete, uh, I wrote this specifically for kind of the mixed martial artists, and this is discussing how to train to become more strong, you know, stronger and more flexible. And again, there's no absolutes. There's lots of different ways to train in all these different variables. Uh, indoor cycling is becoming very popular, and we're going to be offering it at the college starting next semester. And in Europe, they like to do strength training on the bike, whereas in the United States, we only ride the bike. The bike is made for riding. So again, all different ways to do the same type of activity. Uh, my book, Power Body, is discussing how to rehab and what we call prehab, meaning how to stay strong so that you don't get injured. And again, there's no absolutes when it comes to that either. When uh, Taekwondo and uh, Taekwondo led to Tai Bo, and that became real popular, and so uh, my book on cardio kickboxing was pretty much originally designed for people who were getting hurt doing Tai Bo. So it's a safer approach, but again, there's lots of different methods of how to train in this particular book. The Mind Body Fitness book, uh, we discussed a little bit of this in our last week's episode where we talked about how to get mentally prepared for performance, and a lot of people have many different strategies to do that as well. Uh, this is probably the most controversial book I wrote, it's called Athletic Abs, where we have so many different ways to train your abs, because when you train your abs, it's not just about from the floor doing crunches, you can do training for your abs while you're standing up. Uh, my three idiot guide books, these all discuss how to train your upper body, uh, legs, and abs, but even in your office you can be training these body parts. So again, there's no absolute. And uh, the last book I wrote was called uh, The Complete Idiot's Guide to Fitness Boxing. And here you can see there's just tons of different ways to train all of your different muscle groups. And you may decide to do some but not others. And the whole point of today's lecture is that when you're training, find what works for you because there are no absolutes. See you next week. Thanks for joining us.